Right, in the, the next menu we have uh, character customization. Uh, if we click on there, uh, if we unlock any particular characters or kill them, uh, we can unlock certain items like different hats uh, and different faces. Uh, generally, it looks like you have to buy the character first uh, from the, the the other character menu. Uh, so once you bought it, you can use their the face. Uh, so I bought the Dracula earlier, I can use his face. Uh, different hairstyles. So you can have any kind of weird hairdo you like. You have a long ponytail. Uh, different bodies. Different uh, coloured arms, sleeves, uh, hands, different coloured uh, hips, kind of black ones, uh, legs, and you can actually have a cape, like I've got here. So if a certain NPC's got a cape, uh, you can use their cape and keep that on there. And these are just the, the full actual costumes. If you click on these, it'll turn you into that full character's default. And you can press the random button, which will pick any sort of combination at random. Uh, in the next option menu, we have the settings menu. Uh, tools. In tools, we have a, a paint button. Uh, what the paint button does is basically once you've got your particular paintbrush uh, you can have a square one or a square uh, circle sorry uh, you pick color uh, and basically when you start painting so if we pick the white color there you can paint any brick anywhere on the map at all and it'll change them all to that particular color let's pick green again just to clean that up if we go back uh, we have a add terrain tool uh, and what this does is you pick the cursor shape uh, and then pick co whatever color like terrain you'd like uh, and then you just pick where about you want the terrain uh, and you just if you keep your finger on left click and drag it around uh, it will create quite a lot of terrain uh, all at once uh, once you've used those if we go back into the it's a, a remove terrain option so you can undo all that and remove quite a lot of areas so if you want to get rid of hills or anything like that uh, there is a flatten tool uh, which if there's if you've gone too far up uh, you can actually press the flatten tool and it will bring all the land to the same level so if we went to it all down there uh, to flatten it all to that one particular level and you can change the the cursor shapes with that as well uh, there's a smooth tool, so if they've got sharp edges like this, uh, you can actually uh, smooth them out to make nice gradual hills. Just like that. Just to make sure the, the edges are, are not too sharp. Uh, a lower terrain, uh, you can pick different paintbrush styles, uh, and then as soon as you left click, it all start to dig into the terrain, depending on what shape you've picked. Uh, add terrain is the, the opposite, so it's all create terrain uh, depending on the, the paintbrush that you picked. Uh, there is a select and export button which I'll get into into another video. Uh, on the next menu you have a brick building. And basically this uh, you can pick any style of brick, uh, you can use this to build custom houses. Uh, so you pick which style brick you want on the, the side. Uh, so if we start with this corrugated start now this one uh, and a bit of a brown uh, so similar to a brick that uh, so it's just left click uh, and it'll pr uh, to place place the blip uh, the bricks sorry <laughs> uh, and if you left click it'll undo the last few bricks that you've placed uh, it'll also delete if you select a, a brick that's anywhere on the map you can just right click and it'll delete those as well uh, if you have a brick selected, if you keep your finger on shift, you can actually draw lines with those without it coming out of line. Uh, so you can build walls quite quickly. Uh, if you press the R key, uh, it will rotate. So you can turn the brick around uh, and then... Oops. 
build a, a wall quite quickly. Just like that. Let's get rid of all that. And the tools that we've got here is rotate break, which is the same as pressing the R key. Uh, overlap, uh, if we've got a so we've got this long brick here. If we try and place another brick on top of it, uh, it'll actually go onto the top of the brick. Uh, and say we can't find a, a shorter brick, that's only got, say, three parts to it, uh, not four. If you press the overlap, uh, you can actually stick them together, uh, so it will turn into a three-blocked bro brick, which will make it a bit easier. Uh, there's the paint tool, which is basically painting uh, the bricks different colors different sections similar to the paint tool that was in the the other menu uh, axis lock I'm not too sure what that does at the minute and there's the undo button as long do or redo anything uh, and you can drag and select a large amount of area uh, up or down and then you can either copy them, uh, delete them, or we can paint everything. Or maybe not. Now it's just delete. Uh, we can't paint everything at once. 